In this episode of Killing a Duramax, we're swapping out the oil cooler and going to synthetic oil because I don't want to kick the bearings out of this thing. I'm Gail Banks. Welcome back to Dino Cell number two. Last time, we hit 711 horsepower, but the oil got hot and the oil pressure took a dive. As you may have seen in my unboxing video, we ordered a 2020 oil cooler from GM. It's clearly superior to the 17 to 19. So let's hop into the control room and I'll tell you how we're going to test it. Aaron, fire it up! We had 92 hours on the oil package. I, I thought it was time to refresh it. 92 hours, way over the horsepower rating of the, of the engine is, that's like 10,000 miles of climbing, like a 40% grade, totally gro broke grossed out at 120, 130 miles an hour. I mean, you, you just can't get there uh, in a stock truck but we can sure as hell do it on this dynamometer. So we put in the fresh 15W40 CK4 standard uh, oil. And oh, by the way, CK4 is the, the newest high speed diesel engine oil standard from the American Petroleum Institute. We ran the baseline with, with fresh conventional oil in the engine Mike changed out to the 2020 oil cooler, and now we're going to make a pull at 600 horsepower, 3300 RPM, and see how all this works. Okay, we're at about 205, we're idling. Let's build a little heat in this thing and punish it a little. I should say, let's build a little heat in this thing and punish it some. Not a little, some. And if that all works, then we're going to punish the hell out of it. Every time we talk about going to 3,300 RPM, it's like a crime against nature. This engine, this engine stock form makes its horsepower at 2,800. And you can't get to 3,300 in a pickup truck. There's no way. The governor cuts off the fuel. About 600 pound feet, 450 horsepower, we're building a little heat in the oil. We want to get it up to a stable temperature, cook it there a little bit. And we're looking at the oil temperature in the pan, but we're also looking at the oil temperature coming out of the cooler and going into the main oil gallery on the engine. And of course, we're looking at oil pressure. Still climbing? Ah, uh, it's pretty stable. Okay, well, let's bring the horsepower up. There's 500, 550. Let's leave it there. A, a, leave it at 550 for a while. Here comes the oil temperature. 250. All right, okay, 600. 600 horsepower, turbine inlet temperature, 1250. A little over 3,000. 260, 236, looks like it's stabilizing. 61. Okay, we're good. We are good. Let me have the, the uh, SD card out of the uh, iDash data monster. So while we're crunching this data, we're going to change to Amsoil Synthetic 15W40. I'm really anxious to see how this change from conventional to synthetic does.
All right, the Amsoil's in the engine. Aaron, let's make another 600 horsepower run and see how the Amsoil compares to the conventional oil. All right, loggers are on. I'm such a data junkie, it's ridiculous. This is like data straight to the vein. Huh. Love this. All right. Air fuel ratio is coming down, 24 to one. The air fuel ratio here is only about 22 to 1. The exhaust is absolutely pure. There's not going to be much soot in that exhaust. Right at 600, 3300 RPM. Turbine inlet temperature around 1250, 1260. We're looking good there. Turbo RPM is about 97,000 RPM. Here it comes at 250. It's coming up. All right. Looking stable. I think we've got it. Let's go ahead and get the data out of there. Yeah. Good enough. All right. Let's brain drain this card. All right, guys. It's a Duramax L5P. We're comparing first the oil cooler. It's a 17 to 19 L5P oil cooler versus the 2020. The towing capacity of the 2020 increased like a mother. They didn't change the rating of the engine on horsepower. It's 445 as it was before. And they added about five pound-feet of torque. But the big deal here is how long do you run it at the limit? You gotta dissipate the heat in the oil, you gotta dissipate the heat in the coolant. The cooling package in the nose of the truck is all new. We ran fresh oil with the 17 to 19 cooler. Here's what we saw. 270 degrees in the pan, and 246 degrees coming out of the oil cooler into the main oil gallery in the block. Then we changed to the 2020 cooler, still running the conventional 15W40 oil package. We dropped to 261.9, call it 262 in the pan, and 236 nominally going into the block. That's a welcome improvement. The oil cooler is doing its job. Then we changed to the Amsoil Max Duty diesel oil, 15W40, CK4 standard, but it's synthetic. The cooling is virtually identical. The thing I like about the AMS oil is there's a CK4 standard, and I think it's CK4 slash SN, and there's a other detail to that, but basically you can meet the standard, put it on the can, put it on the bottle, whatever, or you can exceed the standard. The thing about the AMS oil is it doesn't just meet the CK4 standard. In a lot of respects, it exceeds the hell out of the standard, especially in the scuffing, cylinder wall scuffing department. Uh, they're way above the test standard for scuffing. Here's the wrap up on the oil temp. We're right at nine degrees in the pan. Same horsepower, 600 horsepower, 3300 RPM. And cooler out, we've dropped 10 degrees. I'd say this is successful. This is giving me some comfort because I want to go to 800 horsepower. So let's move to oil pressure. And this is really interesting because if you, if you look at the black bar graph here, the oil, oil pressure in the 92 hour old oil, that oil, oil had sheared down a great deal. We were getting in this test series, 60.7 PSI oil pressure. We put in 
the same oil product, conventional oil, and we picked up almost seven PSI oil pressure, changing the oil. Now we had punished that original oil, something fierce, but this kind of tells you the products shear down. I don't know how fast the shear down is with synthetic over conventional, but I think it's greatly reduced. So we went to the new oil in the early cooler, and now we're up to 67.6 PSI. Change to the 2020 oil cooler, same conventional oil. The oil pressure went to 73.1 PSI. So that's a five and a half PSI gain just changing the oil cooler. Then we changed to the AMS oil package. So the AMS oil was run at the same oil temperature and picked up three and a half PSI to 76.6 PSI. That's an almost 5% gain in oil pressure. The total gain from new oil in the old oil cooler to the AMS oil in the new cooler is nine PSI. Running the original oil that was sheared down, I, I was starting to see pressure in the high 50s. Now we're in the mid to high 70s. Now I've got the confidence to change the injectors and go for 800 horsepower. That's the next episode.